Okay, so um, warm up day 59. Okay, so looking at this one, again we're graphing, so we start with our starting number, which is our y intercept. So at positive 3, I draw a point. Okay, then my slope, my growth, is negative 2 over 5. Okay, remember if we're thinking about that table, what that means, I started at 3, is since the top is a change in y, that means I'm going to subtract 2 here and a change in x every time I add 5 here. So if I were to jump from 0 to 5, it would be at 1. So I'd go to 5 and 1. Okay? So that same idea is from the start to the next point is I'm going down 2 and to the right 5. Okay? So I can go down 2 again and to the right 5 and it'd be clear out there, or I can do the opposite of that, right? Which would be up 2 to the left 5. So it'd be right there. Okay, there's my line, so I drop, and there I go. Okay, now for number two, same idea, okay, find our starting point, which is right here at negative four, okay, remember slope intercept form, that's the b, so my b equals negative four, mm -hmm. then I find another point, and so I look at where there's intersections, I can see these right there. And then how do I get from this point to that? Well, I go up 1, 2, 3, 4. So going up a positive 4. And to the right, 1. So positive 1. So the change in y is on top. So for my slope, it's a positive 4 over my change in x, which is a positive 1, which I can reduce that to just 4. So I get y equals 4x minus 4, or plus negative 4, either one. Now, could I have went negative 4? plus 4x, yeah, that one would work as well. Okay, there we go, guys. There's a warm-up, so be ready for what we've got for the rest of today.